What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another video where I know this seems late for us here in North America, but we finally have the North American product plan for the Alfa Romeo Tonale, being that, well, you know, um, it's just now coming out for us here on this side of the world, as you guys have already had the Tonale for a, almost a year now over in Europe, overseas, well now it's our turn to get the Tonale, and here we are, North America, we finally got a little something here that's going to give us some insight on what we're going to be getting, how it's going to be coming in, and the different versions coming to the different um, countries. So I have something specifically for Canada. All my Canadians, you guys want to hang out for this one because towards the second half of the video, I have a full lineup, a buyer's guide for you guys for sure. You're going to want to check that out. But this is the North American product plan from Stellantis. Um, shout out to um, you know the person who sent this to me. Now I can kind of walk you guys through it because North America is going to be having what it's called a refresh dealership. And that's going to give us a 2024 Alfa Romeo Tonale, 2024 Alfa Romeo Giulia restyling, and 2024 Alfa Romeo Stelvio restyling. So this is an exciting time for all of this to come at once. And now we're starting first with the Tonale. So I'm just going to kind of go through this PDF here for you guys. And um, hopefully my video feed is not in the way. Um, if it is, I'll try to move it around to, you know, kind of, make sure that I'm not blocking any important information. But here we are, all new Tonale. The first thing we have on this, and I haven't gone through all of this, I've just briefly looked it over. So I want to make sure that this would be good information for you guys. So here we are. Now I'm gonna move my video feed already. Whoops, I'm moving the screen. <laughs> so I'm gonna move my video feed up here and try to make it a little bit smaller so it's not in the way for you guys. You guys know what my face looks like, so you don't necessarily need to see that. All right, so let me get straight to it. The 12.3 inch, I can never say that name right, and I don't want to uh, butcher it, but you guys will be able to tell me the pronunciation in the comments below. Uh, digital instrument display, so that's 12.3 inches. Very similar to the new Maserati Gracale with the 12.3 inch screen, same with the Gran Turismo. Um, then you also have Uconnect 5, 10.25 inch multimedia touch display. Now keep in mind that Uconnect 5 is not going to be in the Stelvio and Giulio refresh. So if you want Uconnect 5, in your alpha male you're gonna have to get the tonale the reason being and i know a lot of people has have asked this before but the reason being is because r d it would have had to get redesigned for that center console for you connect five and crash test it and it would have cost north of 80 million dollars i have some insiders from alpha you guys know um that have told me information like this so it wouldn't have made sense because there wouldn't have been a big return investment when you have to spend $80 million to do the infotainment display and everything like that. So next generation, Julia and Stelvio will get that. Uh, let's go over here. All right, so you see boosting emotion with electrification. The exclusive DNA Alpha Male driving selector enters a whole new dimension. So you have your normal driving selectors that you know about, dynamic, natural, and advanced efficiency. All right, and it shows all of your power modes, the way these are used, and a lot of the ways that I explain when I do the reviews. Um, sometimes I kind of skip over it because I say it for each one and it gets redundant, but make sure you guys check out the different modes and the different power dynamics that are all added onto this. Um, you know, pause it if you need to, to read all through that. I, you guys are gonna get bored if I read through every single thing. So there you are. Now, Tenali product plan from Stellantis. So here we are, the Sprint. Your key standard content starting at $44,995 and the PHEV, well, that's starting at $54,995. All right, so I know you see two liter and I know you see PHEV. So I've been told that the US is just getting the PHEV and Canada is getting the gas model. I'm still kind of working that out and making sure that's the right thing. Maybe we'll see more information in here. Um, as you guys can see, it shows the European model. They didn't do any updated photos of the new PHEV um, for the product plan uh, PDF file here. But you can see the performance features there. You can see the safety, exterior details, and interior details. Make sure you guys read through all of this because like I said, we will be here for an hour if I went through every single thing here. But the key things here is starting for the two liter at $44,995 and for the PHEV, the plug-in hybrid, well, $54,995. This is your 
I guess, highlighted content here, and it says Sprint Overview. So you get the rubber DLO, not the gloss black. I'm not a big fan of the rubber DLO, so that's gonna be you know around the window motorings. Um, I, I talked about that before, but it's the Sprint model, it's the entry-level model, that's what it is. Black power folded and heated mirrors, all right? So that's cool. Uh, mold in the color of the body kit, sorry, mold and color body kit, lower seals and wheel wells. All right, so you can see the uh, mold here, and I, I guess I can point with the, the mouse the mouse here, all right, mouse over it. Um, and then you have the 18 inch aluminum wheels with silver calipers, all right, the black V Scudetto grill, and the LED Trilobe headlights, adaptive headlamps, all right, so you can see that there as well. It's nice that it comes on the Sprint model. All right, next over, LED tails, and the mold in color lower fascia, as you guys can see there. So it's really nice that that's in color. All right, in the inside, black pillars and headliner, 12.3 inch cluster we talked about, heated steering wheel, auto dimming mirror, you connect to you connect 10.25 inch radio navigation, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and wireless charging down there. All right, and again, this is the Sprint, so the Sprint's coming pretty loaded up, all right? And then you have the 18 inch five hole aluminum wheel standard, and the 19 inch diamond cut wheels are an option. So those are your wheel options. Now, you can also do a panel roof. Not sure why there isn't any um, text behind this uh, for some reason, but it shows the roof. Now that's not a panel roof, I'm sorry. That looks more like a sunroof. The um, antenna's on the back, but there is no actual glass on the back. So keep that in mind. Um, so yes, it says sunroof, not panoramic roof. So available options for the Sprint, the sunroof, $1,495, all right, and the 19-inch five-hole wheels, $1,500. There you are. Now, your exterior color recommendations, Alpha White, that's standard, all right, no upcharge. Alpha Rosso, 200 MSRP. Alpha Black, 900. Masano Blue Metallic, 900. And Giorgio Ascari, Ascari Metallic, 900, all right? And we went through a lot of these colors and stuff like that before, too. So if it seems like I'm going over this quickly, that's because we've already went through some of this. All right, so here we go. The Tonale Veloce overview. All right, so starting at two, for the two liter, 47,990. All right, that's the gas model. And then the PHEV, 58,990. All right, so that's a big price. Performance features, no changes, all that kind of stuff, exterior details. Um, the dual bright exhaust tips, I need to note, PHEV only, all right. The um, perforated leather seats, that's standard on the gas and optional on the PHEV and the perforated Alcantara seats with vinyl bolsters. That's standard on the PHEV. The uh, column mounted paddle shifters are late availability. So that's something really to keep in mind that if anybody's looking to get that, well, you might get it a little bit late. So if you get a hold of this and it doesn't have the paddle shifters at first, but then later on down the line, you see ones with paddle shifters. That's the reason why. All right. So then we will... Go over again so you can see the dark velocity badge. This has the gloss black DLO, like the window surrounds here, all right? So that's better than the rubber. Black power folding heated mirrors, dark meat own body kit, all right? 19 inch diamond cut aluminum wheels, red calipers, black V Scudetto grill, and the LED Trilobe headlamps, adaptive headlamps, all right? So that's it for the Veloce. And then you have the dark meat own body kit, LED tail lamps, and bright dual exhaust tips on a PHEV only, all right? Now, inside, black pillars and headliner, paddle shifters, again, late ability, 12.3 inch cluster, heated steering wheel, aluminum pedals, leather heated and ventilated front seats, which I love that it's finally ventilated front seats. It, Alpha took so long to put cooled seats inside of one of their cars. Thank God. Wireless charging, auto dimming mirror, you connect 10.25 inch radio, navigation, wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Harman Kardon sound system, optional. All right. And then for the Veloce wheels, 19 inch diamond cut aluminum wheels standard with red caliper standard, 20 inch Grigio five hole wheel standard, red caliper standard. All right, so you're getting red calipers on the Veloce. And then available options, you got a lot. All right, the active assist, Harman Kardon, the gas only for a Harman Kardon, 20 inch Grigio five hole wheels, leather front seat group, PHEV only, and leather and Harman Kardon, PHEV only. But you guys can see the sunroof, 1495, Active Assist, 2500, Harman Kardon Sound System, 1200, the uh, wheels, Grigio wheels, 2000, Leather Seat Group, 18,000, or sorry, 1895, and the Leather and Harman Kardon Package, 2995. All right, so again, if you guys haven't seen my video going over these options on the configurator, make sure you check that out as well. Same for the colors, 
Alpha White Standard, Alpha Rosso 200, Alpha Black 900, Masano Blue Metallic 900, Grigio Ascari Metallic 900, and the Verde Fangio Tricoat, because the names are different with the Ascari and Fangio, well, 2700 for the MSRP for that green. All right, then here we are. As far as the colors, Veloce only for that Fangio Tricoat paint. All right, so there we are as far as our color setup. Now, product update, PHEV details. So this just shows some things with the motor um, as far as the belt starter generator, the GSC Firefly T4 engine, um, the hybrid battery pack, the P4 electric motor, and e-motor axle. So again, I'll let you guys read over this because it's, well, actually I can read over this real quick. Constant power to the hybrid battery, never lose battery charge. That's the starter generator. Uh, the Firefly T4 engine, 1.3 L, uh, 1.3 liter GSE, 180 horsepower, 199 pound feet of torque uh, to the front wheels. Then you have the 15 kilowatt hybrid battery pack, lithium ion nickel magnes battery pack, and 306 volt of output dedicated gas cooling circuit to maintain optimum battery temperature and performance. And the P4 electric motor e motor axle. Peak power of 90 kilowatts, 121 horsepower connected to the rear differential. All right, so some things to note there. That's the end of the North American look of the Tenale. Now, reason being, I know, no TI, I know. Weird, right? Now, for Canada, it says 2023 Mai. So, 2024 for the US, 2023 for Canada. When I got the press release straight from Alpha Romeo 2024 for the PHEV model. So again, I'm still trying to figure out who's getting what and how it's coming. We're still trying to figure it out as we can see here. First electrified Alpha Romeo, late availability. This is for Canada. Keep in mind, this is for Canada. All right, so it shows you, you know, different highlights here. The Canada unique plan is here, all right? So more standard equipment, more safety, more value, all that kind of stuff. So for my Canadians, again, I told you you wanted to stick around. This is what we got here. So there we are. The Tenali Sprint, two liter, all right? So again, I don't think it said two liter on the Sprint for the North American plan, but for Canada, it says two liter up there. So again, 2 liter i4, 268 horsepower, 285 uh, pound feet of torque, GME, Alpha Male DNA selector, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, uh, I think they're getting gas models and they're getting the PHEV late to where we're getting the PHEV right away. So, keep that in mind. Make sure you check out all the you know safety exterior details and interior details there. Make sure you pause that and read it if need be. But that's first online. Same thing here. Um, I don't think anything has changed when it comes to the looks here. Now, again, this is the European model shown. For the North American model, you will get the amber uh, lights on the side and you will have the um, charging door on the PHEV models um, and also exhaust tips down here um, as well for the PHEV. So keep that in mind. Um, yeah, so same thing we saw on the Sprint in the North American version. So I'm kind of, you know, going by this a little bit faster because you guys have already sat through it more than likely if you're watching the Canada spec. All right, 18 inch five hole wheel standard, 19 inch um, cut five hole wheel optional. All right, same for the infotainment and the 12.3 inch digital instrument display. And then your options here might be a little bit different as far as price goes. I think it looks all the same to me. Um, but again, I don't know how that carries over in Canada. All right, now they have the Veloce as well. Again, I don't see the TI. Um, so not exactly sure where that's uh, disappeared to, <laughs> but no TI. Um, so yeah, a lot of the same things for the Veloce just adds on to the Sprint. So as you guys can see, standard gas, optional PHEV for the perforated leather. Other than that, there's no big highlights here. Um, I don't see, oh yeah, late avail availability for the column mounted paddle shifters. Again, they just didn't put it in red this time. And then the same looks here for my Canadian folks. As far as all the exterior bits, same on the rear. And then same in the inside, they do put again, paddle shifters, late availability. 
They do have the heated and ventilated seats. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're rocking with the same stuff. Harman Kardon optional for the sound system. And then our wheels here. All right, looking good. And then the options for the Veloce 2 liter all look pretty much the same. I think we are missing, I th did they have one more option for the North American spec? I feel like we were a little short, probably not. I'm, I think I'm just, I think I'm just like, I'm looking for something when it's not necessarily there. And then all the colors there again, for my Canadian folks. So don't think I'm done yet. For my Canadian folks, yeah, I told you there's something you need to stick around for. You notice there was no prices shown, I believe, on any of these as far as the total prices in Canada. Yeah, it did not give us prices. So allow me. Um, so here we are. We have this strictly from Canada. The gas model, the Sprint will be $44,995. Um, CAD and obviously in US that's 33,411 for the Veloce 46,435 CAD all right in Canada and then in USD that's 34,480 all right now the PHEV models the Sprint all right 54,995 for CAD all right in Canada and then 40,836 in US and then Veloce 58,990 CAD 43,803 USD. And these numbers are conversion at today's rate. All right. So just keep that in mind. This is what we're looking at. Um, still no TI. Um, I've been told that we're still waiting on that exactly. So I'm not, not sure what's, you know, what's going on with that. I was told that the Sprint would have late availability um, until March next month. So there it is. There's your product plan, your brochures. Um, and everything that us folks here in the North American market are looking at when it comes to the new Alfa Romeo Tonale. Now, hopefully that helped you guys. And if you want even more information, make sure you check out my video on the configurator uh, where we actually went and specced out models. Um, I did do that in depth as well. So you guys know all about these things before they even hit the dealership lots. That's the best part about it, guys. You know exactly what you want. You can go get it and drive it home because you know all about the car even before you get there. It just helps save you time watching these videos and doing your due diligence. So if you've been rocking with me, I appreciate it. Um, thank you so much. I'll move myself off of the alpha emblem here. <laughs> <laughs> and um, if you guys enjoyed the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Give the video a like. We'll help get it up in rankings. More people can see it. And we can have a bigger discussion on the Alfa Romeo Tonale product plan in North America and the brochure order guide in Canada. Now, with that said, if you guys want to help further support the channel, always check the links down in the description below where I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, and Patreon. In case you guys want to help your boy out, donate an extra couple dollars, I appreciate it. You guys can also check out the Ron's Rise merch. And you can check out my social media links down in the description below. And you guys, subscribe to the channel, right? But click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day. And we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.